like the pun, Ian. You don't like the pun? I don't like the pun. Well, I like the pun, alright? You do this every week. It's stupid, Ian. It's not stupid. It's Meteorology, that's comedy gold. Guys, come on. We need to film. It's stupid. It's fine. No, it is well, not. You know what? Let's just get this over with so I don't have to deal with you anymore. You know what? I am Good done plan. with this. Good plan. Oh, we're doing the makeup oh, all God. over again. This is all your fault, Isaac. Ian. What? How many times do I have to tell you this pun is stupid? Apparently 18, because that's how many weeks we have in school. Wow. I'm sick of it. Every single Quiet week. Every... set, please. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Isaac Dudley. And I'm Ian Parr. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First up, we have some announcements. Seniors, if you haven't completed your community service hours, please turn them in as soon as possible. If you still need some hours, ask the West Hills College Bookstore for any opportunities. Please check your West Hills College portal to ensure that you're enrolled in the right classes. Speak to West Hills Student Services if you have any questions. Seniors, grad night is this Friday. Make sure to turn in your permission slip and pick up an information packet from Mr. Rice if you plan to attend. PBL grades will be given out this Friday, which means it's all over. We send you to a word with you about PBL. After the month of April, the last acronym anybody wants to hear is PBO. It was a grueling, time-staking project that spanned over three months starting second semester. Some will say it was a burden, but others will say it was a good learning experience. Today, we'll be tearing down aspects of PBL, getting to know your experiences, and hopefully allowing for a better and more organized project-based learning for those who have it for the years to come. Do you think you got enough class time during the timeline of the project? No, because not a lot of teachers let other people from our group inside the classroom. Um, I feel like we got um, enough class time in certain classes. Um, we were given class time to work on it, but there wasn't much class time to work together with it. And I feel like that's something that needed to be fixed. Yeah. We did, it's just we didn't spend a lot of it actually working. Uh, how often were you able to meet with your partners during and outside of school? We have, I think, three classes all three of us together, and we didn't meet almost at all after school. No, there's a lot of uh, working on your own. We knew what we had to do, so we just did it. During, not really, because of, as we said, we don't have very many real classes, and those classes that we did have, we didn't really have together. And outside of school, I believe we only met once. 90% of our correspondence was over the internet. Like, AJ would say on like a Discord channel, like, hey Alex, I need you to work on the business plan. And then I'd just be like, okay, and just like kind of do it. And then every once in a while, like walking between classes, AJ would look at me and just go, did you do it? And I'd just like nod. Uh, what were your thoughts on the expo overall? I mean, overall, really amazing experience. I loved it, but uh, maybe uh, just some better, uh, how should I say? Like, have it be more organized? More organized, more coordination with uh, the doors, especially because I, felt, I feel like the groups that were uh, right at the door uh, got the most attention, definitely. For me, when I pictured it, I didn't picture as many people. Like, I thought literally nobody was yeah. going to show up. <laughs> so it exceeded my expectations. Um, some of the boots that people put up, they were also really good. They, like, blew me away. And it was just good to walk around for a little bit and see. Yeah, I think it was, like, a nice experience to have, especially because um, it's something that we haven't really, like, you know, experienced in our high school career. So it was nice to have that and it'd be fun to do it again. Um, the expo overall was good. There are parts that weren't as good as others and it could have been organized a lot better and next year we should probably put more thought into where people are gonna go because it, it would be easier that way. This is because of the aisle structure. It was difficult to really pick out things because there were so many people and such a small space that you just immediately went towards the flashiness and things. So a better determined aisle structure would probably be better next time. And what are your thoughts on the investor contest during the expo? Uh, I honestly forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> it seemed like there were a lot of people that were really biased about the whole thing because you'd see people walking past and ignoring everybody else and going straight just to the kids that they knew. And then nobody else really got a fair shot at it, which is something that, like I feel like which should be fixed because it would have benefited us a whole lot more if we all had a fair shot at the same contest. At sometimes I thought it was very 
biased, is that the word? Um, because I saw like parents walking around and they were like, all my money is going to you. And then I was like, but that's not fair. <laughs> you should vote true to what you think would actually get money and not just because, hey, that's my favorite student. That's my favorite that's my sibling. Kid. Like <laughs> The expo itself was a little more uh, coordinated. That would have helped some groups because you could tell a lot of groups were hindered by the fact that they were in a corner or something and they couldn't be accessed unless you weed around other booths. We were in a fairly lucky position where we were directly in the line of sight the moment you walked in and there was no other tables obstructing us. So that was helpful. And But that shouldn't be... Your table placement shouldn't be a contributing factor to whether you succeed or not. So. As has been said before, um, it was very biased because of um, parents really just wanting to give the money to their children. The few community members that were there, uh, of one, of which I think we only had one, um, come to our booth. Uh, it felt a little bit more fair with them because they uh, actually came by and like were interested in what we were doing. Um, they weren't just there to give money to children or to their children. But overall, it, it needs to be refined so that specific people are doing it and it's not just any parent that comes in. There were two. There was the realtor and there was the big hands guy. That was Martinez's dad. Oh, was it? Yeah. Why does Martinez have little hands then? Uh, do you think the project overall was beneficial to you guys? I think it was very beneficial because it taught us to kind of abandon the normal class structure and see what we could do independent of real instruction. I think it was a good experience. Uh, for me, I think it helped with my public speaking and like getting over that fear because I don't like speaking in public at all. But I think it pushed me to be more open and like kind of have that communication skill. Okay. Uh, what would you suggest as a helpful change in the PBL for years to come? Starting early. Yeah, starting earlier is a big one. Starting earlier, more time, uh, a more concrete rubric that doesn't show up halfway through the project. Definitely the business plan because what I got really annoyed on was that I didn't know what exactly the teachers wanted and every teacher kind of wanted a different aspect or different thing. Like I would Google how to write a promotional plan and different websites would tell me different things and so I didn't know what exactly to pull from the websites and so it would have been helpful just to have kind of a more general idea because the business plan was a bit broad but it could have been a little bit more generalized generalized to help me. Now that we've heard from you it's clear to see there are some things that can be changed. PBL has the opportunity to be one of the most meaningful and impactful assignments in our high school career but it will obviously take some work on the parts of both students and staff. An open and honest dialogue will be essential to ensuring the future PBLs reach the level we all know is possible. This has been A Word With You, now back to the announcements. Welcome back. Juniors, do you want to make some cash while at school? See Miss Anaya if you're interested in applying to be the lunch assistant for next year. The restate project due date is approaching. Please turn it in by May 9th. If you, if you have questions, talk to Ms. Pathel. Seniors, if you receive scholarships, let Ms. Chung know by the 18th so that you can be recognized during senior breakfast. LMCHS has a brand new elective. Peer mediation is problem solving by, by youth with the youth. If you're interested, sign up in Ms. Panier's door. Uh, it is expected to be an eighth period class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now it's time for the pun of the week. Hey, Isaac. Yeah, Ian. I was once a weatherman for the news, but they had to lay me off. Oh, why'd that happen? They said my knowledge of meteorology was too cloudy. What a shame. That's it for this episode. Have a terrible week.